Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for a Let's Play series, and we're going to actually try one in VR this time. We are returning to a game that I covered very, excuse me, very early on when I got my Oculus Rift. Actually, probably one of the first one or two titles I actually showed you guys, uh, Dread Halls. I was just looking through my oculus library and there are a few games that are really cool that i've played so far but i just kind of wanted something like simple and just uh, for some reason this game just really clicks with me um I, it was just one of the more immersive simple but immersive games when i started vr and so I figured let's uh, jump right in and maybe try to get through all of the game. Now I have beaten it uh, on my own. I did the spotlight video for Dread Halls. And then I did play through it and there is substantially more than what I showed in the original spotlight video. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here as far as the mechanics and as far as like the menu and <clears throat> the whole lack of... Um, head tracking in the main menu. Uh, if you want all that information, go definitely check out the um, check out my main spotlight video for this. But we're gonna start a new game. Ah, no, no, no! Shoot! What did I do here? Uh, huh. Not what I meant. I looked. Sorry about that, guys start a new game. <clears throat> I move my head just so slightly right when I hit A. So for those who have maybe not watched the original video, um, Dread Halls, just by the name if you can't tell, it is a horror game. It is a first person horror game. And basically you have no attack. You have no offense whatsoever you basically run and hide and the whole spiel is that and now I'm not gonna read these here if you guys want to pause and read these that's fine um, but the whole gist of this is you're collecting this kind of lantern oil we got a little map here that we can look at which I never really refer to much um, but basically, we're just trying to find our way through these mazes or labyrinths and try not to get ourselves killed. Um, <clears throat> I do apologize as we start this series. My voice is kind of shot. Um, and I'm recording this near the end of August, actually. And you never know, I might actually save this series, just kind of, you know, the way I usually get ahead of things on the channel. I kind of record a lot when I have time, and I have a whole bunch of things queued up, so if, you know, oh, I'm out of, out of town, or God forbid I get sick, um, I still have stuff that I can unlock for you guys. So... <laughs> You know, even though this is the end of August, we have September, we have October. I cannot believe we are ramping up to Halloween. Like, this year has gone by so ridiculously fast. It's insane. Um, but I do apologize if my voice is kind of scratchy and nasally. Um... I'm just getting over this really kind of nasty summer cold T-virus thing that I've been fighting for the last, off and on, in some capacity for the past week or so. Um, I felt a little bit off last week, uh, which scared me because I had this concert that I was going to. Uh, that I had planned on going to for the longest time and <clears throat> thankfully it held off and I went to the concert I went to the uh, basically the grand opening of the new stadium here in Minnesota and saw Metallica which was freaking rad 
Um, I've never gotten to see Metallica before. I've had opportunities, but either I couldn't get there or I couldn't, didn't have any money, uh, or both. <laughs> um, that's the story of my life. So, hey, I had the money. Uh, it was really tricky to get in because it was just a madhouse trying to uh, get in to that. But thankfully, the cold held off, and then a day or two later, I felt the symptoms really coming on. And, you know, a little bit of everything. Head cold, um, throat, nose, plugged ears. Um... Headache, just body ache in general, just a real nasty thing. And it really sucks because it came at a time too where it's just, it was hotter than sin outside. And now like when I, when I came down with it, it's like in the 70s. I'm like, oh man, I wish I were outside enjoying it. Instead I'm like <coughs> hacking my lungs up and, and, um, <coughs> Fighting off this awful plague thing. So basically, right now, we just hit this pillar. We lower this pillar, and in each level of this game, the whole goal is to find one of these pillars and find an escape door. But this one, basically, we're trying to find these weird, like, magic-y things. Um, and... We are trying to, you know, light up all these different totems or these different pillars. And I'm going to conserve my lantern oil here. So there's no real threat in this beginning area. It's just basically getting you around the game. Or, you know, kind of like your obligatory tutorial thing. So this first room here is like a hub, which I actually forgot to run over here. Yeah, all right, there we go. Grab some more fuel so I think in the original video I played through two or three of these um, but we're gonna try and play through um, we're gonna try to play through this game I I would say to its detriment the one thing I would say is that it can get a little repetitive because really it, it you know it does its one or two things really well but it doesn't really go beyond that. However, being trapped in the headset like I am, like no matter where I look around, I'm still in the game. Um, and even a simple premise like this is very effective. Um, you will probably catch me off guard a couple of times as far as like jump scares and just crazy stuff happening, okay. So now we actually have to watch out for threats. Pick the lock. Come on. Man, that took forever. Okay. Now we're entering the game for real. But what I was saying was that... I might hold this off, even though I'm recording. This might be a good October game. It's only a month away. And I've got a lot of videos already queued up and recorded. Oh yeah, that cart noise. That gets me almost every time. I keep thinking there's something. Now I can walk and I can run. Um, I don't run unless I have to because I do get winded. And when shit goes down, I may want to be running fast and far. Okay. Basically, I'm looking for a pillar. Uh, usually there's like a room with a pillar and a... Oh, shit. Um, that did not need to happen. Oh, man, this is a dead end. Please don't come out at me here because I don't have any other side paths to run. Oh, I don't like this. This game gets me really on edge. Like I said, it's super effective. 
at what it does. Very simple premise, but it will get you. Oh man, I don't even know. Is this where I can't? Let's. Trying to keep quiet too, because I'm listening for any wickedness that might be around the corner. My, I gotta refuel here in a minute. Uh oh. All right. Keep my fuel up. So in addition to finding supplies, or in addition to finding my pillar, I really want to find rooms that have some like lock picks and uh, stuff in them, like lantern oil. Okay, why do I have a feeling? I have a really, really bad feeling. On my way out, someone's gonna try to get. I don't. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. <clears throat> Just let me get my. Let me get my supplies. I'm bothering no one. I know I'm gonna look up one of these times and someone's gonna scare the living shit out of me. I know it. But, uh, yeah, I might. Like I said, with Halloween being one of the more um, fun times a year as far as video games go, um, you know, just horror games being fairly plentiful. Um, okay, so I gotta go back this way. I gotta find another path. Um, yeah, this might be a good... Good thing to cover in October. Um, sadly, Outlast has been delayed till next year. If you remember, I covered that on the channel as a spotlight video. And 2 just looks insane. Um, but I, you know what? I'm fine with delays because I want them to be polished. I want the games to be good. And I know we're going to get some other horror titles and stuff. Okay, now when we get this sort of <clears throat> lighter music, uh, this is kind of like a safe room. Now monsters, I think can, I think they can eventually come in here if you lure them in, or if they're chasing you, but by default, we're pretty safe. So, I typically turn my lantern off because I want to save. Really, I gotta go all the way around just to go to that part of the table. Fine. Want it. Ooh, I want that too. Alright, we're doing good on lantern oil. Um. But yeah, so I'm really trying to conserve supplies. Usually there's one of these in here, these kind of big old lights to keep things a little more lit. I do apologize if it's pretty dark, but again, <coughs> trying to conserve all right, now we're going back into the world again. So I've gotten quite a few supplies out of this first level. Now I just need to find a way out. Need to... Okay, turn these off while I pick the door.
Ho ho. Shazam. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a chest I can pick. Okay. Scroll. Alright, dude, let's get out of dodge. Alright, let's get out of dodge. Boom. Alright. Got our first official level pillar. So we've got two of these um, pillars done here. Let's um, let's see if we can't do one more level before wrapping up the video. So when I did the original recording, the original spotlight, I didn't know if this was just like a tech demo and like you, this is you just had this hub here. And the answer is no. There are at least what four, maybe five different hubs. I forget, but there's there are a few different places, and <coughs> they have their own kind of look to them. Now everything is sort of catacombs, but there's some that are more like um, you know you you feel like you're more in like a cave or a cavern. Um, you know, this is kind of more of like a, almost like a dungeon feel to it. But there are different, you know, they play pretty much identically. Um, but there's different monsters, there's different kind of tile sets as far as the levels go. We're going to do my traditional go clockwise. Now each one of these levels is randomly generated. So, um, I can't rely on what I used to know, and even if I could, I wouldn't remember anyway, so there is that. But, you know, all these are randomly generated, so... You guys know as much as I do what's going to be around the next corner. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I found my reprieve room here. That's good. Lucked out there. Let's see if I can find any supplies. None on that shelf over there. There's another game that came out for like the CV1, or the, not the CV1, the DK1 development kit 1 or 2. Um, it's called Affected. <clears throat> um, and I, that was one of the, I played a tiny bit of that experience when I tried the DK1. And it was sort of an experience like this, except for like you were walking through, they had different scenarios, like one was a hospital... One was like a, I don't know, like a hotel or something, I don't remember. But it was sort of like this, and like it would you know, just give you jump scares and things. And I found it on the web, but it's not compatible with the CV-1, the retail Rift yet. And I'm, they say coming soon, but it said that forever. I'm hoping by Halloween, or by October at some point, we'll have that. Because uh, from what I played... You know, again, it's a very simple concept, but <clears throat> I think that'll be another good, kind of a spooky game to look into, uh, and I do want to play through it. I think there's like three or four different um, scenarios, and they, they're for the Rift, and they're for the, I think they have it on like the Gear VR as well. Um, so they've been kind of doing more work on that, unfortunately. And I want more of this stuff to come to the Rift. Because... As tense as these things can be... Ooh, another door. Um, I do enjoy these really kind of just simple, like, first-person experiences. I really... So, oh, really? All right, look at this, guys. Booyah. 
stage two. We got lucky on that. Wow. And that's what'll happen. Sometimes you'll get one that's just, boom, it'll just click. And sometimes you'll be wandering around for ages. Uh, we got two more left. Yeah, you know what? We've done the intro. We've done um, two of these levels. We have two left. <clears throat> I am going to stop the video here and we're going to pause the uh, let's play here for a moment and we are going to pick up we are going to pick up in the next one